Uh, oh, weird. Okay. So, uh, we're going to play Dog On, is what it's called in Kickstarter, but the EXE is called Rose. Mono Bleeding Edge, Crash Handler, okay. Um, but this game looks really exciting because it's about a dog that got lost, and I guess you kind of go on a little journey or something with them. And what I really like about it is depending on the tier of Kickstarter, your Kickstarter tier or whatever that you sub what is it called? Not, not that you donate to that you um your backer level, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but you can like submit uh, pictures of your pets to be as like pictures in the actual game. Um, and then another tier is where your your pets can actually show up in the backgrounds, like actual animated. And then there's another one where they're actually uh part of the story and i think the biggest backer tier is um they're actually playable characters or they influence the game like they're actually influenceable characters and i was just like if i was rich i would have put a jada in a mama's in there that'd be awesome graphics quality what are you talking about ultra low you crazy don't no 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 we're not doing that that's craziness <laughs> excuse me but this game looks interesting um i'm gonna have to Hopefully this one will work. Yeah, dude, the EXE is called Rose. That's interesting. Um, but I'm excited for this one just because it's a doggo game. Look at doggo! This is adorable. T can I use my controller for this one? Oh, I saw. <gasps> I can use controller. Oh my gosh, I have a jump. How did I do that? How did I do that? Oh, I hold it in high. <laughs> Look at him, Sheik. Boing. Oh my goodness. I'm a happen dog. Wow. Hold right trigger to run. Wee you. Look at me. I'm a happy doggo. Oh man, the graphics are weird. I can like run on my front two legs if I. <laughs> Bugs out. Whoa. The camera's a little goofy. Whoa, 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 the camera, whoa. Okay. Also, hold on a minute. Um, I do need to check uh, that things are working properly and update the game. Um, apparently, the game does not exist on Twitch yet. I kind of expected that. Um, make sure that my alert went off. Yeah. All right. We're good. We back. We back. Ah, oh, I don't like the camera. Yeah. I don't like the camera so far zoomed out. Oh, it's really awkward. Is it supposed to be that far zoomed out? Hopping. I'm a hopping doggo. Yeah, no! Okay. It's okay. I like to swim. Hold X to interact. I just chomped that board. That can't be healthy. There you go. I did a thing. Okay, so he can't jump over the ravine. Yeah, I thought I would be able to do like a running jump, but apparently not. What's this? I mean, I'm lost. I look like a happy doggo. He's sniffing. Sniffing means that interaction is nearby. I'm gonna dig. Oh my goodness. It's a heck. This is very weird. Doggos aren't moles. Okay. 
What are these butters with red vines on them? I'm taking this. What is it? A cardboard box? Dude, these trees in the way are annoying. What the? Alright, the physics in this game are pretty bad. Now I broke it. I broke it, guys. I can't... I can't interact with it anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's nothing I can do. Sometimes I email run up weirdly here. Aha. Yeah, I'm holding X and it's not letting me do it. Well, I broke it. That's cool. We're like two minutes in and I broke it. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Oh, now it's working. What the heck? This game is broken. Oh, I broke it again. Now I'm not gonna be able to get over it. <laughs> yeah. No. This game is broke. Hey, move you dumb tree. Oh my god, that's really obnoxious. Whose idea was that? To put trees in your way. That's a horrible idea. That's a sh terrible- holy crap. Okay, dude. The jumping mechanic in this game is very strange. Aha! Let me proud doggo. Why is the music all scary too? Whoa. Dude, the legs move all creepy too. Is my is my dog an alien? This looks like something that like the uh, the bargain bin. DS games. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hiya. I'm amazing. Don't chipmunk me. Yeah. Why? Oh, didn't jump. Didn't need to. Why is all the music and stuff freaky? And why do crows want to eat me? Oh. Are these all the puzzles? Randomly placed... <laughs> crates? Throughout the world? Is that a big bird shadow? Did you see that? Camera is weird. That is a big bird shadow. This is mine. happening what the 
Oh my gosh, this game is weird. The heck? It doesn't even tell me, it just kind of nopes me out. Hop up. Hop up. The heck? Is it the bird shadow? Is it just not... Is it not implemented in the game or something? Like... What the heck? Is the bird getting me or something? <laughs> it's just not animated? <laughs> I'm very confused. I can't... What?! Oh my god, this is... No! Give me my box back. I lost immediately for some reason! What is this game?! Uh, uh, what? All right, let's stay out here. Testing a theory. I'm right here. Come here. What is this animation? Oh my god. I, I guess so? But like... All right, see, like... You shadows. Oh, see, I didn't read that thing. I didn't see that show up in my screen. Use shadows to avoid stuff. That's great, but I still need to pass them. It's weird that it just resets you. And those are giant birds. Eee! Get in there. Yeah, I made it! This game is weird, guys. Show me your tail, fellas. Boo. Boo. Just waiting for you. One, two, three, yellow! Oh no! Jump! I can't jump! Project Rose. That was the demo? Uh... That was the demo? You... That was the demo. Okay. What? What? Like... I'm very torn right now, like... There's a lot of things weird and wrong with that game. And I don't want to bash on it too hard because I think it's a it's obviously an early build. But according to their Kickstarter, I don't know if I'm allowed to say all this or what or if it sounds assholey or what, but this is, this is gonna, sorry, this is gonna be my take on it. All right, so according to their Kickstarter, they're asking for $100,000 for the first episode of the game. All right, but if you're a Kickstarter, you'll get all three episodes of the game. Now, from what I understand, from what I understand, that's what it is. Maybe it's 100000 for all three episodes, I forget, but I thought it was $100,000 for the first episode. Kickstarters get the remaining two uh, with their 
backer kit. Now, 50% of that $100,000 is going to art, which I'm totally for. You know, like, support artists, get good art in your game. Now, if 50% of that is going to art, that game has wild animation issues. The puzzles are stupidly lacking. Like, really? Just a crate? Figure out how to move crate to X or A position and jump to B position? There's got to be more than that. And you'd think that, that you would demonstrate a little bit more in that? In your 10-minute demo? If you're trying to get a backer. Or if you're trying to get backers. Now, after playing that, it's making me feel that the developers really don't have an idea for a game they want to do. They're just banking on the fact that people are like, hey, it's I get to play as a dog that's lost. So people will back it. That's what it feels like. Now, I don't want to harp on them too much. Maybe they have great grandiose plans, but according to their Kickstarter and according to that demo, no, that is not going to fly. Like, what? What is that? Like, that was extremely, like, the animation was weird. I was dying by the shadows. It just kind of reset me. There was... <laughs> giant birds? Okay, need to explain that, too. And all, just resetting, that's kind of frustrating. I'm going to give it benefit of the doubt there, though. It's saying, like, it's just something they haven't animated yet. But they're asking for a hundred grand for and 50% of it to going to art when you have that kind of broken mechanics and the camera what the hell was wrong with the camera the freaking trees were blocking the gameplay no like uh, Gris Grease whatever his name was that beautiful art game we played it did it but it was because the foreground passes quickly you know but those trees took up a giant section of the game and there was puzzle elements right behind it you don't do that. Greed didn't do that. It was like, all right, cool. There's no puzzle elements being blocked by foreground stuff. This is more, you're just walking, so it's for ambiance, right? But when there's a puzzle element, it was all open, wide, and clear, and all the stuff you could see. Do not, or that that camera needs to be fixed. Like, that's not stylized. That's bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. If there's a puzzle element behind it, your, your foreground needs to be clear. My goodness, that game was... All right, I don't want to harp on it too much, but dang. I think more than 50% needs to go to the rest of the gameplay. Then, holy crap. All right, that was an interesting game. 10 minutes, jeez. All right, uh, next game, I guess. Hold on.